This episode of Pet Point starts right now. This episode of Pen Point is brought to you by Audible.com. Check it out. So I got this book out um, called uh, God No, Signs You May Already Be an Atheist and Other Magical Tales. And uh, I'm, uh, uh, it's been on the bestseller list uh, for at the time I'm recording this for two weeks. I think it'll probably make a third week. It seems like the sales are very good. It's in like the fourth printing and stuff. And um, right in the front of the book, very early on in the book, for those of you who have read it, um, I quote Lenny Bruce as saying the purpose of art is to stand naked on stage. And then after saying that and quoting Lenny Bruce, the purpose of art is to stand naked on stage, I then say that I couldn't find that quote anywhere on the web, so I give myself credit. The purpose of art is to stand naked on stage, Penn Jillette. And that's just a gag I do early on in the book. So I'm up in San Francisco, where I just done a, a book reading in Marin, and uh, my friends and I uh, go, uh, uh, after I finish an interview or something, I don't know what I was doing. I was doing a radio interview in San Francisco. Uh, a couple of friends of mine, uh, we decided to go to North Beach for some lunch before I catch a, before I catch a, uh, a flight back to, to Vegas to do the show. And we go right by. We're on uh, we're on Broadway there in North Beach, and right across where Babu Hay Gardens used to be, is this Afghanistan restaurant, which is. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, which is our old theater, where the um, where Penn and Teller, then working under the name, well, one of the person working under the name, the Asparagus Valley Cultural Society, played at the Phoenix Theater uh, in North Beach on Broadway uh, from 1979 to 1981, stopping Halloween 1981, 965 performances, very long-running show, wonderful time in our life in this small little theater, right down the street from Carol Dota, the Condor Club, where they had the first, uh, you know, uh, famous uh, aftermarket silicone breasts, first topless club, bottomless club, there's a little plaque there. It's a really cool place and great restaurants. We ate outside there, it was wonderful. But right on the way, between the Phoenix Theater and the Condor Club was this place uh, called uh, uh, the Beat Museum, or the Museum of Beat, or the Beat, Beat Museum or something. And a big storefront, all dedicated to Beat, poetry and beat, you know, novels and just beat culture. And uh, we walk in, I'm rushing to read, get a plane. And there's this really wonderful, like a uh, very attractive kind of gothy beatnik, punk leather jacketed woman working in the front. And there's all this incredibly cool Kerouac and Allen Ginsberg stuff and Ferlin Getty and uh, all these original editions. Uh, it's a fabulous place. Plus Evergreen, and Evergreen is the greatest magazine ever. Uh, it was in the 60s and 70s, and it has that real kind of nudity, you know, with like pubic hair and black and white and dirty, we might get arrested nudity. Not this like sweet, happy, you know, web nudity of, you know, I can suck off my, 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 my neighbor and put it on the web and you'll pay a dollar. But this is that kind of dirty, we have to get the magazine made so we show the negatives to other people and they know that we took it. It can't be anonymous. It's great. I love Evergreen. I should get like all the old magazines. And there's also a Beat Museum, you know, which is like five bucks to go in. So here I am selling my book. The purpose of art is to stand naked on stage. And uh, we're going through the museum and it, I, I gotta tell you, it's amazing amazing museum. They got like, you know, Kerouac's coat and the coat that Neil Cassidy wore uh, on the, with the Merry Pranksters when the bus went, you know, later. And uh, just great. And I'm just thumbing through stuff. And, you know, I don't, I don't buy paper as a rule, you know, but I'm thumbing through stuff and writing down websites I can go to. And I, I love, I love that beat stuff. And we're upstairs and there is uh, a naked picture. They say naked. Now, to me, the definition of naked is you're not naked unless I can see your asshole. If I cannot see your asshole, you're not naked. That's my definition. I don't believe that just, you know, is really naked, but you know what I mean. Uh, there's a picture of uh, uh, Allen Ginsberg and Gregory Corso standing, and they got, their, they got their hands on their junk, you know, but they're still wearing nothing else. And it's a pretty big picture in the, uh, in the museum. Uh, 
And I go over and look at that picture, of course, because I always look at pictures of naked people before I look at pictures of anything else. And I will reiterate, which I've said many times, there was no one I would not rather see naked. No one. I want to see everyone naked. And yes, that includes Ernest Borgnine. Uh, so I see um, this picture, and I walk over. I look at Allen Ginsberg. They're young, and Gregory Corso, uh, uh naked, or at least covered their junk. I can't see their assholes, but they were what other people would call naked. And there's a little plaque, and it has this little story on it. And the story says that Allen Ginsberg said, the poet stands naked before the world. And I've looked this up on the web, and there's some variations in, um, in wording, which means people probably changed it, but also you probably said it differently a few times. And when Allen Ginsberg was heckled, I mean, at least once, they, they act as well as many times, and it might have been, but at least once, when he was heckled by a guy, who, who heckles a beat poet? What kind of dipshit heckles a beat poet? But there you go. Allen Ginsberg was heckled. And while the guy was heckling him, he just says, the purpose, of the, I'm sorry, I'm trying to go right back with my own fucked up quote. Um, the poet, the poet stands naked before the world. The poet, and then Allen Ginsberg would take off all his clothes during the poetry reading and stand naked before the world and challenge the heckler to also get naked, which is just the greatest thing ever, the greatest way to deal with a heckler. I just love it. So I see this picture and realize that my book, which is in its fourth printing in the second week and on the New York Times bestseller list that has this big mystery, what, where did Lenny Bruce say the purpose of art is to stand naked on stage? The actual quote is, the poet stands naked before the world or something like that. And it's Allen Ginsberg. And when I was a child, when I was, you know, um, junior high and high school, I was reading an awful lot of Lenny Bruce, listening to an awful lot of Lenny Bruce, and also reading an awful lot of the Beat Poets, and also reading an awful lot of Allen Ginsberg. So, Penn Jillette did not say the purpose of art is to stand naked on stage. Penn Jillette said a less cool version of something Allen Ginsberg said, which is, the, the poet stands naked before the world. So I, in the museum in San Francisco, took off my clothes. Now, um, I took off uh, my, my pants, my underwear, I pulled them down to my knees, so my feet were still covered, and I unbuttoned my shirt, I didn't take my shirt off, so I wanted to be able to get dressed again quickly. And my dear friend Katrina um, took her cell phone and took a picture of me, and I'm holding my junk only because Alan and Gregory were holding their junk. So I'm holding my junk just like them, and of course I'm three times their size anyway, and I'm so much older than them in this picture. And also the picture is not quite life size. I'm this big giant standing over them. But I'm gonna send the picture of me standing there to, um, to Rev3, and they can put it up here, and you can see that uh, not only the poet stands naked before the world, but the magician stands naked before the world. Sorry about making that mistake in the book. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 75,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded to your iPod, MP3 player, and played back anywhere, anytime. Choose from books in every genre, science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, and more. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash penpoint to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Again, go to audiblepodcast.com slash penpoint for your free audiobook.